Hey everyone, welcome back for another Tiny Tots. I'm Dakota, your events librarian. This week we are going to learn all about the letter N. N is for Narwhal. Um, first, I'm going to start you off with some book recommendations. I just have one book today about narwhals. Uh, we also have multiple ones within our consortium that you can check out. We are going to learn all about how to write the letter N. And then since today is such a special day, today is Earth Day, our craft is going to be to plant um, flowers. We have marigolds to plant in a uh, narwhal planter. Let's get started. So this book, Someday Narwhal, is written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by Haiwan Yum. And this is about a super um, cute little boy who has a pet narwhal and he takes him all through town and on big adventures so that his pet narwhal can actually see the outside world. Um, so the little narwhal has big dreams. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received this practice sheet. Follow along as we learn how to write the letter N. For an uppercase letter N, you're going to draw a vertical line. And very similar to last week, with an M, we are going to draw the second line at an angle like this. And then we are going to draw the third up. So one, oops, one from top to bottom, two, three, one, two, three. For a lowercase letter N, we're going to draw a vertical line halfway at the dotted line. And then again, very similar to last week's M, you're going to go up, round it down like that. One, two, one, two, one, two. To review, for an uppercase letter N, one, two, three. For a lowercase letter N, one, two. We've learned what an uppercase letter N looks like and a lowercase letter N, but what words begin with the letter N? N is for nuts. N is for newspaper. N is for net. N is for nest. And N is for nurse. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received a seed packet for marigolds, a planter, soil. N is for other words that begin with the letter N, directions, glue dots, a straw, some eyes, and a tail for your narwhal. Step one, cut the straw in half. One side of this, once we cut it, will become the narwhal's tusk. So I'm going to cut it in half and you can have an adult assist you. Step two, pinch one end of half of the straw, kind of bend it a little, and then we are going to take a glue dot We're going to place the glue dot like this on the end. And I'm going to take the planter and we're going to put it toward the top to create the tusk. And we're going to make sure that it slants up so that the narwhal's tusk goes up. Step three, place the eye stickers on each side of the tusk, completing the narwhal's face. I'm just gonna take the eye stickers, take your planter, you're gonna put one on one side of the tusk, and the other one on the other side of the tusk, and now you have created your narwhal's face. Step four, 
pinch the end of the second half of the straw and stick onto the back side of the pot, opposite of the tusk. So you're gonna pinch it down, bend it a little. I'm gonna grab another glue dot, place it on. We're gonna take, so we put the tusk on this side, but we're gonna put it on the very back and this is gonna create the narwhal's tail. Stick it on. Step five, using glue dots, stick the tail onto the straw facing upwards, completing the narwhal's tail. So we're gonna take a glue dot, and remember this is the tail. Place a glue dot on the back. I'm gonna take this piece, we're gonna stick it on to create the narwhal's tail. Step six. Fill the flower pot with soil, leaving an inch to spare at the top. Our soil bag. I'm gonna put the soil in as I make a mess everywhere. <laughs> okay. Put the soil in and you can notice how there's about an inch left at the top. Step seven, using a spoon or your finger, create a few small holes in the soil to plant the seeds. So I'm gonna put, create a few small holes. You don't have to go too far down. So I'm gonna do three. And then we're gonna plant the seeds. Step eight, place a few seeds in seeds in each small hole that you created and then cover them back up with soil. We're gonna open our seeds and be careful, they're very tiny. And there are extras in here that you're gonna be able to plant indoors or outdoors afterwards. And I'm gonna put just a few in each one just in case one doesn't take. There'll be more. And then I'm gonna cover them back up with soil. Step nine, water your newly planted seeds and then cover them with plastic wrap set in front of a window so the sunlight can reach them. Take some water, pour just a little bit on just to soak the soil. Make sure when you pour the water you have the base on the bottom so that water doesn't escape onto your surface. Lastly, I'm going to take some saran wrap and put over top, cover it up, and then I'm going to sit it next to a windowsill to get some sunlight. And there you have it, your narwhal planter. Don't forget to water your seeds um, to keep them moist at all times, and then they need sunlight to grow. Happy Earth Day, everyone! We'll see you next week on O is for Owl.